Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to give data to ChatGPT, which means also how to feed data to ChatGPT. If you are wondering how to make your conversation with ChatGPT more personalized and customized and relevant, then you are in the right place. So let's dive in and learn how to give ChatGPT the data it needs to remember and use it in its next answers. Navigate to the ChatGPT website at openai.com. Once you are on the home page, you will see the Try ChatGPT button on the left corner of the screen. Click on it. Step 2. You will be redirected to the login page. Here to sign in, you need to click on the login button. You will need to enter your registered email address or username and password and press continue button to log in. Choose the data set. The first step is to choose the data set that you want ChatGPT to remember. This data set can be anything from a, a set of movie reviews to a collection of recipes. For example, let's say you want ChatGPT to remember a set of restaurant reviews. Here are three example sentences that could be part of your data sets. The food was excellent, but the service was slow. The atmosphere was cozy and inviting. The prices were a bit steep for the portion sizes. Step 2. Format data. Once you have chosen your data, the next step is to format data so that Kata The next step is to format the data so that ChatGPT can understand it. This typically involves converting the data into a plain text file or a CSV file. For example, here are three formatted sentences from your restaurant review data set. Excellent food, slow service, cozy and inviting atmosphere, pricey for the portion sizes. Step 3. Upload the data to ChatGPT. The final step is to upload the data to ChatGPT. This can typically be done through the API provided by the platform or the software you are using. Once the data is uploaded, ChatGPT will use it to generate more relevant and personalized responses. For example, here are three responses ChatGPT could generate after being given your restaurant review dataset. I'm glad you enjoyed the food. Sorry about the slow service though. Sounds like you had a great time. Cozy atmosphere always makes for a great dining experience. Thanks for letting me know about the prices. I'll make sure to recommend some other places with more reasonable prices in the future. And that's it. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to give data and feed it to ChatGPT. Now you can start experimenting with different data sets and formats to, to improve your conversations with this ChatGPT. See you soon.